In this module and course, you'll be using action research methods to help you clarify the measurement problem you need to resolve. But before I expand on how this work uh, in this course, I need to remind you that this is one part of a much bigger picture of plan that you have been building. In EDLD 5305, you are asked to review the literature on educational technology and disruptive innovation to look for trends and patterns that would help you identify and propose an innovation project. In 5304, you created a plan for dealing with the cultural aspects of organizational change and also developed a 40X plan as a foundation for your innovation plan. Uh, and an implementation strategy. In 5313, you explored what is involved in creating significant learning environments. And using backward design instructional design principles, you created a course or instructional plan. Now, in this course, you'll build on that foundation of work and develop a plan for assessing or measuring the impact of your innovation plan on your learning environment. From the assigned module readings, the weekly discussions, and from your supporting research, you'll create three separate but related resources. The first is an action research outline, which is due in the second week. The second is a literature review that provides the support for your action research plan, which is due in the fourth week. And the third is a compre comprehensive um, action research plan that you will use to update your innovation plan created in 5305, which is due in week five. In a nutshell, this course will help you answer the question, will my innovation plan work? And how can I really know how well it is working? More importantly, this course will help you to identify the data that you need to make sound decisions regarding the implementation and expansion of your innovation plan and ideas and how you will continue to move your ideas forward. In the first two modules, you will explore how to apply action research methodology to help you identify your research topic and clarify your research question, and also identify all the pieces you need to include in your action research plan. Research requires that you plan with the end in mind, so you'll need to review all of the course modules and the assignments and continually work with this bigger picture in mind um, as you develop your action research plan, your outline and your literature review, and the final action research plan itself. We encourage you to start your literature review reading while you're developing your action research plan outline. Remember, you already have some exposure to the literature, either in 5305 or in 5314 if you happen to take the course. Uh, so you should have a good starting point to guide your action research literature review process.